Welcome back to the Panther Podcast. Today I have Lele and me, myself, Destiny. And today we will be talking about is love rocky when parents criticize when parents chastise you? And also the second question is what happens when your parent call you to the carpet? So let's start start off by talking about is love rocky when parents chastise you. Uh, um Yeah, because it's like you like as a as a kid, you you tend to care about your parent opinion because they the one that brought you into this earth. And like mm-hmm. when they uh like when your relationship with your parents is like, I feel like that's one of the that's like the most important relationship to have is with your parents because it's like your parents was first, like your parents and then your siblings. But then it's like, like I don't know how to explain it. Um, I feel like yes, love is rocky when your parents chastise you. Because I just feel like they be trying to tell you what to do and how to do it. I understand that they live the life that we already live, but it's two separate lives. <clears throat> they are the parent, you as the child, and also you still got your own life at the end of the day. So <clears throat> when you say chest ties, I feel like it's giving hard love, like rough mm-hmm. love. Like they just, you know, you being there for you. Yeah, sometimes you always need a little bit of that. Yeah, exactly. Most people be out, like, you don't need um, tough love because, you know, I don't know. But I feel like some parents do be very toxic mm-hmm. toxic towards their children because just just because you did that as a young young lady or a young, woman, young man, that doesn't mean your child is going to do the same thing. Like I just said, it's right. two completely two completely different lives. Yes, the same genes, the same blood, but not the same bloodline, but not the same life. Right. Like people, parents need to understand that at the end of the day, their kid is going to get older. They're going to move out their house. They're going to have their own life. They're going to have their own wife, husband, kids, all that. So at the end of the day, I just feel like some parents need to try to at least be more understandable when it comes to certain things that that kid want to do in their life so next question what happens when you what happens when your parent call you to the carpet my parent just recently called me to the carpet um <laughs> stuff i be doing and i kind of had to take that into consideration because i ain't gonna lie like um like i recently just moved back in with my uh mom because i had moved in with my dad because i was going to a different school so i recently just moved in back with my mom she saw kind of like a change in my like personality a little bit so she kind of called me to the carpet like real bad she was <laughs> like oh mm-mm, you ain't fix that and i kind of took that consideration i'm like yeah i do like yeah my but i feel like as you get older your personality usually change because you a teenager like your mm-hmm. hormones different you get to change i probably don't even act like this when i'm 20 19 <laughs> graduating oh, i'm only 16 right now so it's like um, I don't know. Yeah, she recently just coming to the car, but I feel like as a uh, as a teenager in the generation, sometimes you need to like accept it and like take consideration, take accountability for like how you act. And you know, as your if your parents tell you, they be around you like ninety percent of your life. Besides, like your teachers, because they see you throughout most of the day. Like your parents is that that person that's gonna tell you how it is. Like I feel like your parents is the ones that's like not gonna lie to you about like how you act or how they feel about a situation that you was involved in. And I feel like um. Sometimes you probably feel like a little, like you always want to go in def- defense about yourself. Like, no, I ain't do that. But like, mm-hmm. this your parent, like, they know. like you need to, like, let me sit back. Hold on. Let me think about what I just did right now. Let me think about, d- dang, was I actually wrong? Like, and I feel like what I did, I just went to my room. I was thinking, I'm like, dang, I actually did change. Like, my person I did change. I need to go back down because, you yeah, know, my mom she probably just put me in check a quick. little bit. She definitely checked my <laughs> Um, when my parent called me to the carpet, um, honestly, guys, I tend to get very defensive because it's just like, you can't call me to the carpet because, baby, I got some words for you for the carpet, too. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm too quick. Hey, cause, like, I just feel like a lot of parents tend to. You know, try to, like I just said, try to control your life. I don't like that. But when I get called to the carpet, I can take constructive criticism with, towards my uh, my parent and stuff like that. But, like I said, I'm going to always have some words for that, for, for, for the parent, too, because, honey... It's not me. I'm not the only one that's doing something wrong. Right, you got... You, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we but, both could be honest with each other, yeah, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Yeah, nah, for real. But you can't, yeah. But, like, when you try to tell your they parents, when you try to tell your parents about they stuff, they always think they're talking back. But we really wasting all your opinion. But it's really how you say it. It's, it's not what it's you not say. It's not what you say. It's how you, how you say, say it. it. Yeah. So if you a kid, you, 
it depends how you go to your, come to your parents. Cause if I'm telling my mama, my daddy about that stuff, I always come to them calm. Cause mm-hmm. if you come to them disrespectful, y'all know how black parents exactly. is. They gonna get on your you yeah. Know? They gonna. <laughs> um, but how do you feel about our generation of females having pregnancies? Like I, I don't. I personally feel like some of y'all need to close y'all lids. Like, mm. for real. Like, I personally feel like some of y'all need to close y'all lids because, first of all, they shouldn't be that far open and you <laughs> under 18 anyway. Like, <laughs> what is you doing? Like, You're you still under your mother's roof. You're like, still under your mother's roof. Why is you, well, you not With paying no baby. bills and you around here getting pregnant? Nope. Like, who told you to bring somebody into this world and you ain't paying your own bills? Like, what is A broke baby into this world. And then your baby daddy never be nothing. So, like, what is you doing? Baby daddies don't even be doing anything for the baby. Baby, they can leave you. They can leave you anytime. I personally feel like these days, I feel like uh, girls need to learn how to respect themselves more yeah and like, i get that a lot like around school people always call me the bougie one or they always call me i got three names they call me bougie or they call me too cool for school or they call me call me miss don't want to talk to nobody <laughs> but it's like i'd rather be bougie than be anything because mm-hmm. it's like when you too friendly boys like to take advantage of that yeah but like when you say certain things boys like to take advantage of that a lot and i feel like when boys take advantage of like what you said then they get to ask you do you want to come over and all this and mm-hmm. you know sometimes girls don't want to feel like oh they a wuss um this she a little girl she don't want to come to my house but then as soon as you get over that house then y'all get to doing grown folk stuff and then you end up pregnant <laughs> and then now he <laughs> they mama tell my son oh i ain't finna be no grandma at this age tell her to do this tell her to do that like yeah because you know, then you stuck with that kid i just feel like these young women coming up, my generation growing up, having kids, I feel like they're normalizing it too much. They because think that's cool. Yeah, they, they think, think it's cool. cute. That's not cool. And I just feel like you guys need to stop normalizing this because this is not nothing to normalize. We are young adults. We didn't even get to live yet. Exactly. And you're trying to have a baby. Exactly. Hold on. Come down. Because now you got to worry about somebody else, somebody Yes, Close. you have to live for that baby now. I'm You're already, not living your life no more. I've already, I already so. be in the morning struggling what I'm about to put on. You think I'm gonna be struggling with what my kids gonna put, put, put on? Too, like, right, like, and then also you gotta think about bills. So these young women tend to live in their parents' houses still. They're, they, they, they still living off their parents. And I also feel like the parents. I understand that you ain't trying to tell your daughter what to do with her body or anything, but I feel like as a parent, you should like come to her and have that conversation like are you sure you're ready for this daughter like are you sure that you want this i feel like parents be so oh my gosh i'm gonna have it but then at the same time but at the same time it could be the girl fault first of all they need to communicate with their parents that they ready to have sex and they need to talk to their parents that they ready to have sex so they can put them on bc or tell them to use condoms and stuff like that because that's important in sex education like uh like it comes down to the girl too like if you sneaky like i feel like that comes down to the like we were just talking about earlier your, your relationship with your parents like if you got a good relationship and like a genuine bond with your mom or your dad, you could go in there and tell them like, "Oh, I'm ready to have sex," so you can learn, so they could take it to the doctor, put you on that, yeah. So you want to get yeah, yeah. But because if you get got, baby, that baby stuck with you. Right? Yeah, some parents and, and kids not that close because my relation with my mama, I'm not really close to her, and I never had to sneak around. I did what I wanted <laughs> can to y'all, do. Can y'all put bleeps in this. Yeah, bleeps. <laughs> I did what I wanted to do. Not trying to brag on it or nothing, but. My mama never really had a problem with me doing what I want. Honestly, like, she never really was saying nothing. But once I Must did, be nice. once I had got a boyfriend and I started spending the night out too much, I feel like that's where she, you know, yeah, she like, just what felt you like, why are you not communicating that? with me? Like, if you at this person's house or blah, 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 blah. Yeah, stuff like that. But I feel like sometimes it's not about the relationship because you could try to have a relationship with your parent and they can deny that and maybe they just don't want a relationship with you i don't know i feel like sometimes it's not always about that but at the same time having a, a baby at this young age you didn't really it like i a said lot of responsibility, and really doing like, you didn't even get to live your full life then that might stop you from like seeing like new opportunities like going to college yep. then yes you, what a baby gonna be at in your dorm room then what if your person you sharing dorms would be like uh oh, baby who who kid who, who kid? This your kid? Like, yeah. and it's just like they be wasting their like half of their edu- education because i know y'all don't want to go to school pregnant for nine months like they y'all waste the half of their education y'all don't got that many credits like i know y'all don't gain because y'all didn't come to school and if you did i'm proud of you but it's just like think about having a kid before you have it because once you have that kid it's not going to be something that you thought it would be at the end it of might day, be something totally different hashtag stop being grown because <laughs> uh Con. Hashtag use protective sex as well because yes. look, some people are coming of age. Everybody's gonna have sex. We're not gonna just sit right here and make it seem like sex is so bad because it's not. Me but personally, have, I'm not doing no hunching. But <laughs> um. have safe sex. 
<laughs> Safe sex is key, good. <laughs> Especially if you don't want a baby. Now, if you around her, I age, talking about you want a kid, baby, there's something wrong with you. Okay, so you. the next question I have. <laughs> The next question I have is, do you think having a relationship in school is, like, good? Like, No, you know? no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. First of all, <laughs> these dudes, y'all know, boys, they don't know how to communicate at all. Like, it's in their genetics to not know how to listen. Like, it's in their genetics to not know how to. Not like, every boy. Man, <laughs> let me tell you there. something. <laughs> let me tell you. These boys don't know how to communicate if they life was. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's like. I feel like boys, like, when they have friends, they, they I don't know, they, some boys, I ain't gonna say most, but some boys really care about their friends' opinions, and it's mm-hmm. like, when you in a relationship with a girl, and they already feel like, and they homies be like, oh, your girl, bop, ooh, mm-hmm. they make you feel some type of way, because, like, some dudes care about what they homies think, oh, and bro. I feel like that's bad, like, you should have your own opinion Pit, about your yeah. girl, like, mm-hmm. who cares, but it's like, who cares what she did in the past, because do she care about what you do in the past? <sighs> like, Nancy's uh, 10, if y'all haven't said you probably got more bodies to hunt anyways. So mm-hmm. it's like, um, <laughs> hello. Clock that too, and baby. I feel like school relationships is real toxic too because it yeah. caused a lot of drama, drama. with girls, yes. boys, boys getting it to it. Then you know, girls want to make, oh, so you fighting over a girl. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that. She, you fighting over a boy. You know, girls like to get their feelings. They don't play about their little stuff. Mm-hmm. And boys, they say they don't play about their little stuff, but you know, they don't care. They just want to, you know what I'm saying, hunch at the end of the day. These dudes, they be too ready. Too yeah. ready. Too hot and ready. Yeah, and like, but how yeah. I feel about school relationships, I do think it can become very like overwhelming because you is going to the school with somebody that you date, and you got to think about it like she said, the drama stuff, especially at a school like this, they're so like messy, like gang. Like if you was to come in a school and you had a girlfriend, you just sitting over there, you know, like y'all mad, y'all business, y'all kissing, uh, they might make a joke while they walk past you. <laughs> like it just be stuff like that. Like I feel like school relationships also can take a toll on your mental because yes. what if that person is abusing you and you yeah. don't know how to tell nobody because you feel like be physically it could be mentally yeah like, mentally abusing as well too yes. and i feel like school relationships i feel like it's never between you and a person i feel like if you in a school relationship it's you and everybody, everybody yes like because it's like it seems like in our in our generation it's like when you get with somebody you getting with the whole school at this point especially if yeah. it's somebody that's like known throughout the school or like have a lot of friends or very friendly then yeah. i feel like it's really your type like me i don't go for no friendly dude me personally because I ain't going for nothing that be in anybody's face. Ain't gonna I'm going for the quiet, sit back. You know, that's why I like to peep how they act before I get with them because I'm never talking to somebody that's in everybody's face. But I feel like school relationships is real toxic. It can mess you up at home, how you overthinking, you getting in fights. It can really mess you up. Yeah, that's not a really feel like school relationship. When you're in a school relationship and, like I said, with the abusive part, mental or physical, I just feel like that's that can get very overwhelming because you might not feel like you can trust anybody, any adult in the school building to say something to. So you might be fearing, like, oh, my gosh, like, he's keeping his hands on me, but I don't know what to do. I don't want to tell on him, but it's like I don't want to keep getting hurt. So it's just like – a school relationship is a lot, but I do feel like, you know, if it happens, it happens. But make sure that you and that person, like, very locked yeah. in. Nobody can't get in between y'all. I feel, y'all. Like, I feel yeah. like if you start talking to somebody in school, y'all should talk, like, y'all should talk to each other, like, in private. Like, nobody should know y'all talk. That's how I personally feel yeah. like. I feel like if you talking to a dude that go to the same school as you, I feel like nobody should know y'all talk. Because when they find out y'all talk, then everything you do, oh, I just saw her just push old dude in the hallway. You know, dudes like to listen to anybody and think so. Girls too do. Girls listen to any. Oh, yo boy. You know, <laughs> girls like to lie. You know, girls be secretly liking dudes you be talking to yeah. or stuff like that. And I just be like, oh no, because me, <laughs> I get crazy about my little stuff. So if I found out somebody trying to play with my little yeah, oh. I'm just <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, y'all. So the next question I have is, I I don't even know if it's a question. I just want to talk Wait, about so this. Wait, so do you topic. advise people to get in school relationships? I feel like if you do, it's okay. But I feel like just keep your eyes open with your surroundings and who I you decide like you want to talk to. Yeah. Just be real precautious. Like keep your eyes open and yeah, don't listen to what everybody say. Either. Ain't nothing wrong with a school relationship. It's just you you and that person have to be very like. To I've asked be friends first Be friends yes. first If you want to talk to somebody Be friends first Nobody is going to Get in between y'all That's the type of relationship You're going to have to have To be in high school You have to have the right mindset But you know We young So look, we ain't got no type of mindset people, anyway People have high school sweethearts There's nothing wrong With high school sweethearts oh, I want you know? my man to be my high school so I hey, know my man Tell is. my kids Hey man Your daddy been together Since high school Oh bro <laughs> But another question I just want to talk about it I don't know if it's a question or not But How do you feel about 
young females talking to older men like uh uh-uh, uh baby why is you talking to this somebody this kind of that- similar to hold on <laughs> this kind of similar to Diddy and you know what he did Puff Daddy you know like mm. I ain't trying to be you know but Diddy was you know having them women getting sexually uh, assaulted Wait, or sexually mean, like, abused like was they like underage like under 18 yes they was under, like 24 yes like, they was minors i feel like you shouldn't talk to nobody that's if you now if you 17 18 okay cool because y'all probably never Girl. since still in high school but if you 17 talking to somebody like 24 i feel like hey yo first of all your mom hey I'm, and look like, i got so my oh, kid ain't finna talk gosh. to nobody that's yeah. 18 and older and you yeah. Wait, I can't say now because me, I be talking to some grown little years, but they don't be like, they don't be like no 20 son. They be a cool little 18. Look, this is uh, how I personally uh, feel about car, it. Look, uh. I personally, I'm going to get to this and that, but I personally, I'm going to say my opinion and then I'm going to say what I want to say. I personally think if you're 18, you can talk to whoever you want to because you're legal. You're grown. You're legal. You're grown. You can talk to whoever you want to, but I don't recommend you talking to an older man because at the end of the day, that man is still they trying to control daddies. a little girl. You get that, you a sugar daddy. If that, you 18, you talk to a 30-year-old, that's going to be your sugar daddy. Hello. That that young lady <laughs> that you're trying to talk to, you're trying to control her. So, look, let me say this. These are facts. So, a female that's attracted to grown men, I feel like they lack like love from from home dad like they dads they don't they don't get that love from 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 home and i and i can relate but i've never been you know attracted to grown men my dad wasn't there for real but that doesn't mean i'm gonna go out in the world trying to look for older men just because i didn't have that father figure or that figure that men figure and i feel like a lot of young women lack that figure in their life so that's why they go out and looking for older things because they're more attracted to that they like yeah. that they like that spending the money on me like i'm finna i want you to spend money on me like you said a sugar daddy or they but if you 18 i feel like you could date whoever you want to date if you 18 and you ain't living with your mama i feel like you could date whoever you want right to talk if you're not to. living with your mama they could be 60 they could be anything if they providing for you if they doing something for you then go ahead baby if they man right. you a house they what car what be together but yeah. I feel like if you under if you under eighteen and you dating somebody that's in a big age gap of you, I feel like you shouldn't really talk to that person because like first of all they you still living you still you, you ain't paying no bills you under somebody else if you shouldn't be talking to somebody that grown baby you should worry about high school like stuff going on <laughs> curriculars at school you shouldn't be worrying about talking to no grown man that's goofy I'm sorry yeah I just want to say one more thing before we wrap it up yeah guys like young women that be attracted to them older men they also sometimes be attracted to them them boys or a man that be having you know violent guns and things yes. like that because also some girls grew up around that family type of thing like they family had yeah, that going you know, on around them that, yeah. and that's what they probably be might be attracted to because of growing they up around that, that, yeah. that environment but th- my that's, brothers got that yeah <laughs> but that's all that's all for today <laughs> in the podcast thanks for listening and watching us so don't play with me (laughs) period